this video, we will discuss the problem solve this path between cities. So, Geek Leaks lives in a special city where houses are arranged in a hierarchical manner. So, we have to start from house number one and in which each house leads to two more houses. So, means one leads to two and three, two leads to four and five and similarly. So, this is how houses are given to us. So, we have to find the length between two houses, basically the shortest path, length of south, shortest path between two houses. So let's see how can we do okay so because number of houses are not specified so means we have to take an infinite graph or basically the value of x and y is up to 10 power 9 which is given to us in the constant so it is like so this is a part of tree which is given to us means this is how uh, houses are arranged fine so you can see here that this is the first house then for this first house, it leads to 2 and 3. Then this 2 and 3 leads to 4 and 5 similarly. This is all we can do. Okay. Now, now thing is, what is the shortest path? So if I take this uh, 8 and this 5, so what is the shortest path within this? It will, it will be from 8 to 4, then to 2 and to 5. This will be the shortest. Okay. If I take this 10 and this 6 then the shortest path will be it will start from 10 go to 5 then to 2 then to 1 then 3 then 6 this will be the shortest you can see here always what we have to do is we have to start from a node then we have to go upward according to our graph we have to go up okay then we have to go downward to our target in each and every case, you can take any case. Okay, we have to perform this thing. You can take any, any case. Let's take two different houses, maybe 10 and 11. This you have to start first, go up to 5, then to 11, like this. And there will be always a you can say it a vertex house, or you can say a common house, a common house which is common for both the where we have to return. We have to go up to 5, then we have to return. Here, we have to go up to 2, then to 5. We are here, we have to go up to 1, then return to 6. So there is the point from which we have to return. Or basically, for example, if, if we think it in a more different manner, what we are thinking now? We are thinking that we have to start from 5 and let's say go up to 3. So how many uh, steps are required one uh, it will be one two three okay so basically we have to just count the steps now we have to count the length of this path so what i can do it i can start from five and i can reach one then i can start from this three and then i can reach one then i can add the distance of this both the path means if it is a it will be so answer will be a plus b this is what i can do okay this is what i can do we can find the answer using this particular technique. Let's take a different example. Let's take the example of 9 and 5. So what we can do? I can find the length of the pipe from 9 to 2 and then from 5 to 2. Then I can add these both the parts. Length of these both the parts A and B. It will be A2 here, B1. So finally it will be 3. Here. 3 is the length of sort. Okay. But how can you find this common part? this common house from where we have to return from where we have to go because in each case there will be different common house for this 9 and 5 it is 1 for this 12 and 13 it is 3 for this 4 and 3 it is 1 so for this also we have to make some of it we have to make some of this let's see that how can we perform this how can we make this particular observation okay so, because you can see here, each node contains two child in this tree, because every house leads to two different houses. So, if we take this child houses here, which is six and seven, you can see for each and every child house, its parent house has, has value divided by two. You can see for this 6 and 7, its parent house is 3. Means 6 by 2 is also 3 and 7 by 2 is also 3. Similarly, for this 4 and 5, if we divide 4 by 2 and 5 by 2, it will be 2. For 8 and 9, it will it is 4. Means 
divided by 2 it is half of its of its child's value means a parent's value is half of its child's value this is what we have so if we have to find a common parent between two houses what we can do we can divide it by 2 until we get a common number a common house this is what we can do for example let's take example okay let's take the example of 8 and 5 only which we have discussed already so let's take example of 8 and 5 only that we have to move start from house number 5 and to reach house number 8 this is 5 this is 8 so this is 5 and currently this 8 is greater than 5 what we will do we will divide by 8 by 2 so it will be 5 comma 4 now this 5 is greater than 4 so we will divide it by 2 it will be 5 by 2 it will be 2 comma 4 now this 4 is greater than 2 so we will divide it by 2 it will be 2 comma 2 now we get it 2 is equal to 2 means 2 is the common house between this 8 and 5 and you can see it, it is and how many steps are there steps are basically how many divisions we have done because we have to reach we have done one division from 8 to 4 then from 4 to 2 we have done one division and similarly for this 5 to 2 we have done one division you can see here this is the first division we have done this is the second one this is the third one so the length of the solder's path will be 3 so we have to basically count the divisions required until we get a common house until we get a common house in the path okay this is what we can do this is how we can perform so now let's code this thing okay so now let's write and code that how can we do this okay so this is our code editor so first of all what we will do we will take a count variable let's say c which will count length of our sorted path okay now we will take a while loop and it will iterate until this x will become equal to y means until we get a common house so now if x is greater than y we will divide x by 2 and if y is greater than x then we will divide y by 2 and for each iteration for each division we will increment our value of c and then we will just simply return c. this is what we have to do okay so now let's compile this so our sample discussions are passed now let's submit it you can see our sample test cases and our code is also submitted successfully now let's talk about the time complexity and space complexity for this particular solution so because we have not taken any extra space so the space complexity will be constant and it will be o of 1 if we talk about the time complexity so what we have done we have taken a while loop which will take time and we have divided each element by 2 x by 2 and y by 2 we have divided by 2 so the time complexity will be o of log of max of x comma y why max of x comma y because we have to do perform that y loop until that x become equal to equal to y okay so whatever is the maximum element it will go up to that the log value because we are dividing it by 2 that will be the time complexity for this particular so i hope this video is helpful for you please like the video subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends and comment down if you have your any other approach to this particular problem